So here we have the 3D VR glasses. This is basically a plastic version, I would call it, of the Google Cardboard. It's a pretty good design. Um, it's not really adjustable. The lenses are stationary, as you can see. They're not movable up top or on the bottom or anything like that. You got your nose mount, you got your magnet, which you slide over. Um, can open it up here. Got a little clip up top. So that kind of secures it. It's just this little clip right here. Get in, you get it open, and pry on it up, you're good to go. Some magnet there. So when you slide the one underneath, like I was saying, see that one moves just a little bit. Interacts with the phone. There's no real mount for the phone, it just kind of sits there in place. When you close it, it's nice and snug, doesn't move anywhere. I'm using the Galaxy Note 4 right now. I even got a case on it, still fits in the headset. Um, I even put uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 and 4 and they seem to sit pretty good. Didn't move around or anything like that. Um, so right now I have Life is Strange running, Windows 10, Build 10, 1,122, got Life is Strange streaming to my phone, and as you can see, the accelerometer, the gyroscope, whichever one it is they use for the phone itself, is actually controlling the mouse gestures I have, and this is going to make it so that emulates my head movements when I have the headset on again. As we were discussing, the 3D VR glasses headset, non-adjustable. You got your head mount. These are adjustable. Straps on the side. You got one on each side, one on top. And we got the game starting. Just a quick little intro to the room. As you can see, as I turn the phone, it acts as the camera controller and mouse gestures. So, take the phone, make sure I got my brightness not set to auto because it dims it in the headset, obviously, being such a dark environment. Open up this headset. Take the phone, position the phone, position it the best you can, as center as you can, pretty good for me. And then I just kind of take the headset and, well, the phone's still kind of laying flat there, fold the headset up, listen to the click, I know it's in place, and with the phone in place now, the head gestures on the screen are all done by the headset. So if I want to center it, I can use the mouse. Like I said, use the headset itself to adjust the camera. And Here's a view in the lens. Let me reposition there with the mouse because the headset is laying flat down. And it's fairly good. Good viewing angle. It's the left lens, right lens. I said you can't reposition them. There you go, you get a better... After all this action, I still have to get Warren's flash drive.
Uh, yeah, so got your 3D VR headset. I'm gonna turn it around. All the gestures. Up and down, all that good stuff. Over, over. And I'll use my mouse to recenter. And to take my phone out, just do this little clip here. That's not always good, that's why it's better to have kind of laying flat when you open it up. And that's your headset. Not a bad design. Would be better if it was adjustable, but it all depends on your head size, your preference. Hope you enjoy. Subscribe, like, click and add it to. Have a great day.